found me doing one of my favorite activities in late autumn, which is laying in the leaves and feeling the warmth and the comfort and the insulation that they provide. And I bet you've had some fun jumping in some nice dry leaves because as the seasons change from autumn to winter, what happens to this beautiful landscape? That's right, all of the leaves of the deciduous trees start to fall down and scatter along the landscape. But what are they also doing? But exposing some really awesome mysteries in the trees that were hidden before by the really lush green leaves. So come with me and I'll tell you a little bit more about animal homes in trees. If you spent any time walking outdoors in nature, maybe in the green belt, or even in your own neighborhood, walking on sidewalks and noticing that now that the leaves have fallen from the trees, that they've exposed these really big, messy bundles of nest-like structures, usually about 30 to 45 feet up in trees, you've probably seen lots of them and wondered just what kind of huge bird built that nest. Well, would you believe me if I told you that it's not actually a bird that builds that nest, but an eastern gray squirrel, and they call them dray nests. While a bird builds a nest platform to lay its eggs on top of, squirrels actually live inside of the dray. While the outer layer of the dray is made of lots and lots of leaves and branches to insulate the inner layer, the inner layer is made of very tightly packed and laced twigs and sticks, making a spherical container that holds the squirrels. And inside the container, they're gonna use really soft, fuzzy, cozy materials to make it like really nice and customized in there. So they might use Phragmite, they might use mosses, they might use shredded bark from trees or pine needles or any other really soft material. Squirrel drays are created and maintained continually by the squirrels to protect them from the elements like rain and wind but especially from predators. Now, as you can see, squirrels are very, very small. They weigh about a maximum of one pound and the babies are even smaller. So they have to make sure that they create a very safe shelter to protect them. But squirrel drays are only their summer homes. They move indoors for winter. You may have noticed up in that tree, a little bit of a hole. Some people may call it a cavity. I've seen lots of holes in trees in the woods around here in the green belt, and I bet you've seen a lot also. And what happens is that maybe a branch might fall off and that part of the tree becomes really vulnerable to decay. And as it softens and starts to hollow out, animals like squirrels or raccoons or other animals that are seeking shelter may become opportunists and jump inside and make it their home. And that's exactly where squirrels will go in the winter into what we call a tree den cavity. Here we have a really incredible example of a tree den cavity nest where an animal has come and used this hole to make it extra cozy and comfortable for the winter. Tree cavities are squirrels winter homes when the leaves on deciduous trees no longer protect their drays from the wind. They will also customize the inside of the tree den by adding fluffier and cozier materials for extra comfort. The more insulation, the better especially when squirrel moms are having their litter of three baby squirrels, almost primarily in tree dens. It turns out that broods born in squirrel drays are 40% less likely to survive than those born in tree dens due to predator attacks. And female squirrels actually nest alone when they're pregnant, but breeding pairs just may nest together during very cold winter spells. So aside from squirrel drays and tree den cavity nests, squirrels have also been known to nest in attics of houses and even exterior walls. Maybe even in your house, maybe one of your neighbors has had a squirrel problem in their walls, but all they're doing is seeking that maximum cozy warmth for the winter. So we have a really great example here of how lots of different wild animals will use human structures and exterior walls for shelter. This is not a squirrel nest, this is a bird's nest, but it's the exact same concept. If you're ever curious if a tree den hole is in current use by a squirrel, there are a few simple animal signs that you can look for by gently and respectfully approaching the squirrel's potential home and checking the rim around the hole. 
and there may be some tooth marks or some scratches. And they'll do that to customize their home, just like we may do. And as you can see from this replica squirrel skull, squirrels have very long, sharp teeth in the front for just that purpose, but they also have these flat teeth in the back for munching on different plant fibers, just like us. So, also, if you see squirrels walking around with a big bundle of leaves or grasses or anything like that, that you might have a hunch they're headed home to add insulation to their dray, you can just stop and look and follow them through the trees and see how they move along the highways of the branches. And they very well may just bring you to their front door. If you're interested in more small nature bites like this video or larger virtual programming from us at the Greenbelt, check out our website at sigreenbelt.org. We also have a YouTube channel at the Staten Island Greenbelt, and we even have Facebook and Instagram accounts. So check us out. We have so much to offer. See you then.